Hi, I'm Gavin Glitzman. I'm here today with Ian Wright. Righty, where in have the, you brought us? In the absolute radio studio. This is where I do my show. How are you doing? The Manchester Derby is fast approaching. Suddenly, everything's to play for again. Mm. Right now, who's going to win that game? I think Man City will win the game, but I think that Man United might just uh, finish off the Premiership. I'm really looking forward to the game because, you know what, I'm saying Man City, but at the same time, like anybody would be, I'm guessing. Um, the fact that they're in the ascendancy at the moment at Man City, they've got all their players back. Tevez is back. He's definitely done something for them. Man United have slipped up in games where I couldn't see it. Couldn't see it happening. I thought that they would have had this wrapped up maybe two games ago. <coughs> Excuse me, in the games that they've uh, dropped points in. But City have just got better and better. Uh, and going into this game, they know they win the game. Then it's level in it going into the last couple of games and... You know, it's anybody's there, but I, I, I was always banking on the fact that Man United have got the experience at this level, but really, yeah, they have, but their players are still as nervous. They've still got young, inexperienced players amongst it, amongst experienced players, and maybe, um, especially with the games that they've lost, they, they, you know, they, 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 they're bottling it a little bit. Looking back now, when Roberto uh, Mancini said that City were out of the title race, do you think that that has actually worked in his <clears> favour? It took the pressure off his players and allowed them just to play with freedom and, and come yeah. back into the race? You know, him saying that, it, it, you, you can just read between the lines. They've never been out of it. Otherwise, they'd be out of it. it was, it's just him, for whatever reason, um, it's not like somebody can listen to what Man Mancini was saying and say, um, oh, yeah, yeah, to be honest, they are. They're not, they're not out of it. Um, otherwise they would be. So, however, it's come about to where we are now in Man, Man City three points behind them with the, the, the derby coming up. You know what I mean? It, 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 and it's going to go level. It, you know what I mean? It's, it shows. If City don't win the title, is that the end of Mancini? Um, I think, you know, the resources he's had. Um, and I think that the problems he's had in the squad for the whole season, you know, um, I think it has derailed them somewhere on the line. Balotelli, you know, with all the stuff that's going on with him um, off the field, in the training ground, the bus stops, the, indis the indiscipline and everything. I think that if they lose it, uh, I think it will be their own faults because I tipped City at the start of the season and I said the only way City won't do it is if they drop the ball themselves. City will beat themselves. And if that happens and Man United do win it, then I think that City have to look back and they can only blame themselves. They've got great players, top players. Yes, Silva had a little dip. Um, in the season, like I say, uh, uh, Tevez has been a, a, away for most of the season, and that is going to, you know, I mean, that's going to cause you problems. Yaya Torre was away um, in and around the African Championship, then he had a little injury and stuff like that. So they've had their, their times where it's been a little bit rocky from, but they've kind of got through it. But when you check someone like Tevez and his comeback and what he's doing, I think City could be well out of sight by now. So. It'd have to say, it'd have to come down for me to the management, not sorting all that stuff out. Um, and so, you know, the buck would lie with him. And so if they did sack him at the end of, the, of, of this season, I don't think he could complain too much.